Now open your eyes and turn up those ears because you never know who or what will appear. I am really, really excited to share this book with you because it has all kinds of music. And I love music. Don't you love music? The book is called Wild Symphony. And this is by Dan Brown. He is our author and he wrote all the words and our illustrator is Susan Batori. She drew all the pictures. Look at those beautiful in papers, maracas, a bass, a clarinet, a timpani, a tuba. We've got a harp over here. You guys have seen the harp. Miss Munsell has been here. A cello and Miss Dirsch's favorite, the flute. <laughs> and she plays it. I didn't bring it with me today though. Oh, this is Maestro Mouse. Psst. This is not a normal book. You can listen, not just look. If you want to scan this square, music soon will fill the air. I've already scanned this square. So, <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> Please stand by. <laughs> Let's get started. Maestro Mouse. I'm Maestro Mouse. I'll be your guide. So come along on my wild ride. You'll meet my friends. They're smart and fun. I think you'll love them. Everyone! They live in jungles, ponds, and trees, out in fields and under seas. Each one teaches something new, a secret lesson just for you. My friends and I, we have a plan. Try to guess it if you can. Listen well and use your eyes. I think you'll love our big surprise. I'll hide some clues along the way. A hidden game. Come on, let's play. Woodbird welcome. As the sunrise starts to glow, woodland birds all say, hello. Honking, hooting, chirping, peeping, squawking, tweeting, cooing, cheeping. It's so noisy, all those birds, a jumbled rush of birdly words. But if you pause for not so long, you'll hear each bird's own special song. Even when life seems messy, there's beauty to be found everywhere. Bouncing Kangaroo. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo, teach me how to bounce like you. Bouncing high, bouncing low, bouncing everywhere you go. Bounce to run, kaboing, kaboing. Bounce for fun, kafoing, kafoing. Bounce and chew, bounce and eat, kachu, kachu. Bounce asleep, kasnooze, kasnooze. When you shake your kanga tail and bounce along the kanga trail, I wish, I wish I bounced like you. I want to be a kanga too. It's great to admit the skills of others, but don't forget that you have special talents too. Clumsy kittens. Jumping here, landing there, tabletop to kitchen chair, tree to fence or porch or roof, floor to couch to stool to oof, even though they sometimes fall, <laughs> they don't seem to mind at all. 
always landing on their feet, never crying in defeat. When life trips them up a bit, cats just make the best of it. Falling down is a part of life. The best thing to do is to get back on your feet. You guys know what this animal is? The ray. Hammerhead and moray eel loudly tell you how they feel. But the fish just stare and sigh when the ray goes gliding by. Strong and graceful, silent too. Could the ray be just like you? Sometimes a lot of noise isn't the best way to get attention. Being quiet and graceful can work even better. Happy Hippo. The hippo loves a muddy pond with clumps of weeds to nibble on. He's happy just to float and munch. He's got his home. He's got his lunch. He doesn't wish he had the sky. Life's too short to moan and cry. He just wants to splash and sing. Life is such a simple thing. Sometimes you get caught up in the confusing parts of life that you forget to enjoy the small things. Frogs in a bog. Croakers, peepers, happy frogs sing together in the bogs. Big ones, small ones, fat ones too. Green and brown and even blue. No one's right and no one's wrong. Everyone just sings along. All of us are different sizes, shapes, and colors. If we work together, we make wonderful music. Anxious Ostrich. When she's stressed or feeling hurt, she sticks her head down in the dirt. Here she finds a perfect space and doesn't feel so out of place, but soon her hiding trick must end to eat her lunch or see a friend. And once she's spent some time away, she feels recharged to face the day. When you feel overwhelmed, it's okay to take time for yourself. The armadillo's shell. An armadillo is really smart. He's got a shell. He's got a heart. He's got his shell when days are bad to keep our th out things that make him sad. But when his days are really good, he opens up just like he should. He's not afraid to show his heart. That's the way that friendships start. It's okay to block out bad things, but don't forget to open up and invite the good things in. Dancing boar. I was just in the jungle once and heard some gruffy gruff grunty grunts. I crept in close or to explore and saw a pack of frightful boar. <laughs> Their snarly, sniffy snouts were scary, curving tusks all sharp and hairy. Then I saw, to my surprise, the boar were chasing butterflies. They spun, they twirled, they danced about, having fun without a doubt. Their faces looked so fierce and mean. I guess some things aren't what they seem. Sometimes nice things come in not so pretty packages.
impatient ponies. Love to gallop, never trot. Hate to stay in just one spot. Running circles, life's a race. Got to set fast, set a faster pace. Looking forward, never down. Missing clovers on the ground. As tomorrow comes your way, don't forget to live today. Tomorrow will be soon enough. Slow down and enjoy today. Wondrous whale. You guys are doing great. The biggest creature of them all isn't hairy, mean, or tall. He's sleek and kind and soft and blue, long and smooth and gentle too. A hundred feet from mouth to tail. Yes, you guessed, a big blue whale. Underwater, excuse me, a whale can do wondrous things. Underwater, he can sing. It's how he talks to other whales and shares with them his whaley tales. His voice can echo through the sea 200 miles and sometimes three. And dare, so if you ever take a swim, and dare to stick your head way in, you just might hear a distant song, a whale who hopes you'll sing along. If you listen carefully to nature, you'll hear conversations all around you. Is that hiding in the grass? I think it's a cheetah. Cheetah chase. You can't see her creeping low, inching forward, slow, slow, slow. Even when you squint and stare, you see nothing, nothing's there. Then whoosh, a flash of yellow fur, a streaking blaze, a cheetah blur. In a heartbeat, she can shift from super slow to super swift. But when a cheetah runs so fast, her cheetah speed will never last. And so she stops to breathe and rest. A boab tree for naps is best. She gives a, a yawn and then a snore. And then, poosh, she runs some more. It's important to give everything you've got, but don't forget to rest and refill your tank. Eager elephant. Ta-ta-da, ta-ta-dee. Practice singing, just like me. Yes, it's hard, but she won't quit. Soon she'll get the hang of it. Mama teaches. Baby learns, brother giggles from the ferns. Then at last she gets it right. Ta ta da! They'll dance all night. Nobody gets it right the first time. Just keep practicing. You'll catch on. Rat attack. You'll run and hide when rats are, are near. Dash away and shake in fear. But if you stop and think of it, you'll see it should be opposite. You're bigger, louder, smarter too. The rat should run away, not you. Sometimes we're afraid of the silliest things. Busy beetles. Busy beetles, busy beetles, digging with their little fetals, working slowly as a turtle, building homes in garden dirtle. But the beetles, bit by bitty, keep on going, never quittle. When at last their work is done, then it's time to have some fun. 
There's time for work and there's time for play. There's time for both every day. Ooh. Spider on web. In the woods, you stop and shriek. There's something sticky on your cheek. A spider's web you almost broke. Blech. Oh, yuck, you gasp and choke. But as you start to run away, there's something there that makes you stay. Diamonds somehow caught in flight, hanging in the bright moonlight. A shining net of silver gray. Who thought you'd see a web that way? A masterpiece some spider spun. Now aren't you glad you didn't run? There's beauty in unexpected places. Keep your eyes open. You might be surprised. Brilliant Bat. Even though a bat can't see, he never flies into a tree. He never smacks into your house. He's more than just a flying mouse. He has no sight, but has no fears because he knows how well he hears. He doesn't really need to see. He's learned to listen carefully. Being a good listener will always help you find your way. Almost there. Swan in the mist. In the mist, I see a swan. She must be sad. They're all alone, paddling softly on her own. But then I see she's got a smile. She wants to be alone a while. Time to think and time to rest. She likes this special time the best. Time with family and friends is fun. Time alone can be special too. Cricket lullaby. There are times when we just look, like when we read a picture book. But if we use our ears to spy, there's more to life that, than meets the eye. At night, a field looks dark and bare. Our eyes are, our eyes are certain nothing's there. But ears hear things that eyes can pass. Our ears hear crickets in the grass. All those music notes. Now and then, close your eyes and listen. You might see something new. All right, my shrew mouse is ready. Tap, 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 tap. He's tapping his... see the whole thing. Okay. Here we go. To conclude, there are all of our animals. They got together and put all the sounds together for a symphony. Thank you so much for using your ears <laughs> today and your patience to listen to our story. Thank you so much for using your ears and your patience to listen to our story. If you'd like this beautiful book, we have a few still on the shelf and I'm sure we'll be ordering more for the holiday season. It's such a special book for a music lover. Um, I will see you next week with another story. I believe it is actually going to be a special story with a very special guest. So make sure that you turn in, tune in next Saturday, okay? Thanks for tuning in and have a blessed week. Bye-bye, everybody.